move to CA log. CA log stands for contiguous allocation. CA log is declared in the header file stdlib.h. To use CA log function in our program, we have to include stdlib.h header file. As you can see, the first statement is the declaration of integer pointer. So, in stack memory, 4 bytes is allocated for integer pointer. CA log takes two arguments. First argument is the number of elements and the second argument is the size of each element. For the statement in heap memory, five blocks of memory is allocated and each block is made of four bytes, which is the size of integers. Here, each of every block is initialized to value zero. So in mlloc, the initial value is garbage value. But in cloc, the initial value will be zero. Cloc returns the base address of the memory allocated to the pointer. Suppose, for example, the address is 1000. The 1000 will be allocated to the pointer. Using pointer, we can access the memory allocated with cloc and pointer to the value at ptr plus 0, which is the value of 1000, the first place 10 is stored. Similarly, 20, 30, 40 and 50 are stored in 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th positions. Now again, what happens if the heap memory is full? The same thing as in mlloc, it returns null. As we saw the example of mlloc null check, similarly, whenever we use mlloc or cloc for allocation, we should do null check. That is, if the value returned by mlloc or cloc is null, then the memory is not allocated. Otherwise, the memory will be created successfully. Now, we will see the difference between mlloc and cloc, which is a very important two mark question. The first difference, the name mlloc stands for memory allocation. The name cloc stands for contiguous allocation. mlloc takes only one argument, but cloc takes two argument. The next difference is it allocates only single block of requested memory because it takes only one argument and only one block of memory will be allocated. Whereas it allocates multiple blocks of memory, multiple blocks of requested memory. The last difference is mlloc doesn't initialize the allocated memory. It contains only garbage values, whereas cloc initializes the allocated memory to zero.